if you can see it. If I'm in my phone. Hello. <laughs> Let's see how many how many people hop on for this one. <laughs> That's right, honey. Chitterlings and hog moths. Chitterlings and hog moths. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Lavisha. Thank you, Chrissy. Hi, Jillian. Hi, Bernadette. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Tracy. All right, y'all. I am not going to be on here long. I'm going to show y'all these chitlins and these homos. I got to get started with cleaning mine because I have not started cleaning yet. I've been kind of tied up with my daughters this morning. So I'm going to show y'all this. <laughs> it's so funny to me because people get so bent out of shape because you eat chitlins. So I laugh at them. <laughs> hey Shana Hi Angela Alright for those who have not seen Chitterlings um, I'm going to show you what they look like I know some people won't dare touch them And that's fine um, So let me show you This is the bucket So I like I personally prefer to get the bucket Versus the bag Okay so this is What they normally look like You've probably seen them in the store but for those that won't touch them, I'm going to show you what they look like, okay, when you open the bucket. I already put one of the buckets in the sink. I like to just clean my sink out real good. And and <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense, huh? <laughs> and then I just dump it in there and put some water. So let me show y'all what they look like when you open them. And y'all can see I have a window. I have my window open. I can't. I have to have a window. Okay. So they look like that. Okay. Yes, honey. <laughs> and I'm about to put them in here with these and I'm going to start cleaning mine. And I've been thinking about just maybe doing a slow cooker, like putting them in the slow cooker overnight. I don't know what y'all think. I really like to cook certain things on the stove opposed to slow cooker because some things don't taste the same. Like to me, Slow cooker pig feet don't taste the same as stove top pig feet. You know what I mean? Somebody know what I'm talking about. I know people that don't eat that don't know. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? Pig meat. <laughs> oh. And then I went and got me some hog moths. I put some extras in the deep freezer. But I'm going to open these up so you can see those for those that know, don't know about hog moths either. Okay. So we'll put these on this side. I'm so glad you got the cookbook. Yeah, all the cookbooks that were ordered by November 7th. By November 7th. I have people fussing at me now. Not many though. Maybe a couple people that didn't see that you had to order by November 7th to get it by Thanksgiving. That was the deal. That was the deal. And that's why I went and picked up all those books and made and, and did them myself. Packaged them myself. Printed out the labels myself. I did all that myself, okay, to make sure, uh oh, I had a hog moth over there, to make sure y'all got them by Thanksgiving. I'm going to show y'all these hog moths. Mine, they, these are pretty thick. Hog moths, you ever watch Friday? <laughs> I like them pigs. <laughs> I like hog moths. <laughs> you know, every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. <laughs> That's what he's talking about, hog moths, okay. So I'm going to put those in here. And um, I know people do theirs pretty different. Hog moths are not that difficult to clean though. Like chitterlings. Chitterlings take hours and hours. Okay. To clean. Depending on how many you cleaning. Um, but hog moths don't take that long to clean. They take long because you want to make sure you want to cut the fat and stuff off. But they don't take as long. So let me get them in the thing and I'll show you all. They kind of got to break up a little bit. Put that in there. 
<laughs> every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. In the refrigerator. Eating up all the pieces. All the hog malt. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me see. So this is what they look like. These are more like in the strip. I know some of them come kind of together. So it's not, they're not gonna be hard to clean at all. It's just, you wanna cut like that fat off. We're gonna cut this fat off. And I know it's kind of difficult to, to teach somebody how to clean a hog mog or, uh, or chitterlings. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna clean a few chitterlings just to show you um, how to do them. And then, you know, you can, I have videos on my YouTube showing how to clean chitterlings and even how I cook them, one of the ways I cook them. So if you want to try that out, you can look at those videos. Just go to YouTube, Cooking with Aisha. To, uh, tomorrow, I'm actually going to cook my chitterlings and hog mocks together. Okay, I'm going to cook them together. So I want that texture. I want to taste it. It's going to be so, 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 so good. So um, I respect your decision not to eat them and just respect mine to eat them. How about that? <laughs> We're going to be all right. So let's come over here. I'm going to show you all. Let me get me a paper towel. Let, oh, never mind. Let, they ain't gonna bother you. Well, I can use this. I just have to. This would be my chitterling, my chitterling and hog moth towel. Now, somebody said, anybody else tired from cooking and prepping all day? One thing I don't do, I do not usually prep the day before. I like to um, cook everything the morning of Thanksgiving. Me and my daughter was just talking about that. We are. I'm a fresh food eater. I don't like cooking the day before. I can't eat no warmed up food the day of Thanksgiving. I just can't. Now, if I had to, I would. But since I don't have to, um, I get up early on Thanksgiving morning, usually around 5 or 6 a.m. And I literally just cook, you know, and I'm done by 1 or 2 o'clock with everything. So I'm just turning y'all around so y'all can see what's going on in my sink, honey. All right. Mm. Now, chitterlings are not difficult to clean, but you just got to know what you're doing. My late Aunt Jewel, she she uh, taught me how to cook chitterlings when I was very young. I had to have been about 13 or 14 when she taught me how to clean chitterlings. Um, I know that's probably grossing somebody out right now. It's like, <laughs> look at that. Of course, you know, chitterlings are intestines of the pig for those that don't know i'm gonna give you a little history lesson okay that's what they are so what you want to do is when you pick up your chitterling you just have to know what you're looking for okay you have to know what you're looking for the main thing you want to focus on is you want to get this stuff off of the chitterling you want to or you want to get this off of the intestine see this gross stuff you want that off so you can kind of just search your chitlin. You can find that spot where you could just start pulling that stuff off. So you need to pull, pull, pull this off. And I got my bucket here. I like to just keep my bucket to put my stuff in. Let me move that over. And I'm going to show you once I clean it. But you just want to pull that stuff off. And it'll kind of start doing this right here. It's not really hard. But you just have to take the time to do it. You can't be lazy when it comes to cleaning chitterlings because it, you just can't you can't afford to skip steps and and to have clean them i'm gonna tell y'all i was uh when i lived in st louis i worked at this call center out in earth city and um but i lived off page in the city and so i stopped at this place i don't know the, the restaurant name but i stopped there and they had some chitterlings you know i was getting lunch for later on that day now i don't never eat nobody chitterlings but that was, I think that was probably one of the first times I had even tried chitterlings at an actual restaurant. And this was more of a hole in the wall. It, people live in St. Louis know. That, I'm talking about down in the city page. Page over there by uh, Cook and all them. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about if you live there. So you know I'm in the hood at that time. And so uh, I went in this little hole in the wall right there off page. And baby, I was so excited to see they had chitterlings. I spent like $15 on that plate. Took the plate to work. And I just wanted to try the chitterlings, you know. And do you know, y'all, them chitterlings weren't even clean. It's like they had put the chitterlings, they had took them out the bucket and put them in a pot and cooked it. Now, somebody know what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about people that don't eat chitterlings. I'm talking about people that do and cook them. 
So that's why I've, ever since then, I don't eat anybody's shillings. Nobody. I can't trust it. So do you see the difference of what I just held up? That's it. So you know it looks, you know, like it's hard. It's really not. You just have to know what you're looking for. So I'm going to clean a few more and show you that. And then um, I'm going to show you these hog moths real quick and show you just how you clean those a little bit. And then I'm going to hop off the live, y'all, so I can really get to cleaning because it's, it's difficult when you're trying to show people because, you know, you just, like I said, you just have to know what you're doing. I'm going to pull this fat off of here. If you want to leave your fat on, that's on you. I'm pulling my fat off. This is a big chitterling. That's a good one, ain't it, y'all? For those that eat them, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I cut mine up, so I don't leave them uh, this big. I'm going to cut them smaller. Uh oh, I didn't rip my chitterling. I'm going to cut them smaller, and then I'm going to, of course, cut up my uh, my hog mocks. So I'm going to get all this fat and stuff off there, and then I'll show you the chitterling. So you just want to pull it apart until you get all that stuff off of there. It's not real hard. Ooh, yes, honey. Sometimes you can get a good batch of them where they, you know, they're not too bad. One year I got real fortunate. <laughs> I got a bucket of chili, y'all. But it, they just weren't bad at all. I'm not gonna get rid of that yet. But you can kind of see. It's literally just the intestine. So the main reason people don't like chitterlings is because, for one, it is an intestine. <laughs> but also because, you know, you have the stuff attached to it that be in the intestine of the animal. And um, you have to clean it off. So I, I, if I was you and you like chitterlings and you want to eat them, I would just, I would recommend that you learn how to clean your own. Don't trust nobody's chitterlings. Nobody. Nobody. Don't trust them. Just cook your own. Cook your own. I mean, that's the best thing to do. Unless you know they know how to cook them and they real clean with it because, baby, I was so disappointed with them chitlins. I ain't never known nobody just put chitlins in the pot and cook them with all the stuff on them. And you could literally just see it, y'all. It was awful. It was so awful. So, so awful. So this one's not too bad. It's a little stuff on here. You don't want to peel them too thin because there's a skin, a layer of skin I could actually pull. I don't know if it's skin, but there's another layer I could pull off here. But then you'll make your chitlin too thin. Okay. So you don't want to make it too thin. So we'll be able to clean. You know, you can kind of pull some of that stuff off. If you kind of see some stuff. Whatever you see, just, just pull at it. But see, if I do this, it'll actually start peeling that layer. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want my chitlin. And we still got to wash them. So this is just me pulling all that stuff off and separating the two. The clean chitlin from the stuff that comes in them and then then we wash them okay i'm betsy's is i'm gonna do one more for y'all and then i will move over to these hog mobs and i'm gonna hop off so i can really clean i'm betsy's is good it's just i need more chitterling then you know i have to buy more of the aunt betsy and i'm just pulling all that stuff off and I'm telling you, it's a difference when you cook it with all this stuff in it. <laughs> I, I ain't never did that, but it, your water should not be foamy. Your water should not stink. Your chitlins should not stink while you're cooking them. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a clear sign, baby, that you did something wrong, okay, that you didn't get them clean. If they smelling while you're cooking them, not cleaning them, if they're smelling while you're cooking them, then chances are, no, ain't no chances, you didn't clean them right. You know, you it should smell like whatever you season them with. It should not smell stank. Like, you know, you know what? I ain't got to go there. It should not smell like that. So that's a problem. So you just have to take your time. This is not for the, this is not for people who like to rush. This is for people who are patient. <laughs> you got to be patient, okay, with this process. You can't rush it, I'm telling you. You don't want to miss nothing. You want it to be nice and clean, okay? So you can enjoy them once they're done. So I'm going to clean this and I'm going to show y'all these hog mugs. I'm so excited to put hog mugs on them this year. Yes, honey. And I'm going to see y'all comments. I keep seeing, uh, I'm trying to look. I got my phone turned a certain way, so I'm trying to look. Because I know you know you got those people that's just... <sighs> <laughs> the people we gonna pray for and I'm gonna eat your chillings too 
I'm gonna eat your portion. So this is only 20 pounds. This year I only did 20 pounds. Somebody was telling me they couldn't find chitlins. I am not that last minute shopper when it comes to holidays and stuff. I do everything early. So people like me already had them in a the deep freezer. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can find none. But that's my recommendation to you. Start buying stuff early. If you don't have a deep freezer, invest in one. They're not expensive. You know, anything I could pretty much think of that I want to eat is in my deep freezer. Because I just keep it already stocked up. And if I buy extra meat, it's just simply because I want it. I don't feel like thawing it out. But if you if you buy, I mean, I got everything from duck, anything you can think of. Duck, neck bones, chicken, pork, steak, beef, ribs, uh, whatever. I got everything I need. Turkey, turkey wings. Um, I, I just keep stuff like that so that I don't have to worry about it. If anything were to happen, you know, we'll be good to go. Um, chitterlings, uh, cost about, the buckets that I have were only about eight, eight, nine dollars a bucket, but I got mine, so I get mine when they're not in, you know, in demand. See, when people want chitlins, they take the price up, because they know people are going to pay the price. But see, I buy mine when they be cheap, they be 70, when ain't nobody thinking about chitlins, that's when I buy my chitlins, if I'm going to eat chitlins. If I know I'm going to have some, then that's what I do. So there's that one, y'all. So anybody who ever come to my house and I made chitlins, you know I know how to clean my chitlins. Now, if you don't want to eat them, I ain't going to be offended because I don't get offended by stuff like that. I say, hey, do what you need to do to make yourself feel okay. I ain't going to be offended because I eat them anyway. I'm going to move that butt over here and show you all these hog moths. And I'm going to hop on off so I can really get into it. Um, Shanna said, I just could not. I had an aunt that nearly died. Oh, I missed your comment. It went too fast. Now, listen. Chitterlings and just like anything, you cannot eat things in excess. Like, the reason why some of us get high blood pressure, diabetes, have strokes, is because we're trying to eat this type of stuff every Sunday. There are some people that eat soul food every Sunday. You can't do that. Or, you know, or even, you know, multiple times a week. You have to be careful with your health. You know, that's why it's a gift. I mean, a, not a gift. That's why it's a um, it's a treat for me because I haven't eaten chitlin since 2018. So, or 2017, one of those years. So, you just have to be careful. That's with anything. You can't eat fried chicken every day. You can't eat fried food every day. You can't eat hot dogs every day, you know. Or, you know, food that is very high, you know, it may not be chitterlings, but it could be just, uh, you know, those frozen pizzas. There, That stuff is not real food. So, you got to, whatever you eating, it may not be this, but, you know, you have to make sure you're not doing it all the time. With these, let me get my shears because that's what I use when I um, clean these. So, with these, you all... What you like to do is just cut that fat part off. And there are people that really need these type of videos that actually like to eat this stuff. So if that's not you, that's fine. It's not for you. And you just want to cut the fat. Now some people like to boil them first for a couple of minutes and then, you know, try to attack all the fat and stuff. But I just go through and cut my fat off. Okay? You don't want to, you want your skin and stuff on there. It's just stuff like that. You want to cut it off, okay? You just want to cut that stuff off. Like that. Just cut that, that extra. You don't need that on there. Okay? Cut that off. You may see people soaking them. You can do that if you want to. You can do whatever you want to do because it's, it's your business. But I'm just showing you an easy way to do it where you can get them clean and you can get them to where they need to be. So you want to cut that off like that. So cut that extra stuff off. Be careful. Don't cut your hand. <laughs> I ain't cutting mine, but don't cut yours either. <laughs> so cut, you know, it's good to have the shears because it's easier. Okay. So once you get all that extra stuff off like that, these are not like chitterlings. So you don't have to peel them and all that stuff. Now these are, excuse me, these are thick, okay? Hog moths take a longer time to cook, especially if you leave it like that. So I like to cut mine so thin, and I'll show up. I'll post a picture of my chitlins and hog moths because I don't want to cut them yet. But I literally cut mine like that thin, 
I'm going to just cut a little piece. I like to cut mine small like that. Like literally. Small. Small, small, small. That way it don't take as long to cook. So I'm going to be working on this today. Let me get y'all turned around. I think I smeared my lipstick a little bit. Layla. I ain't know you were still in there, honey. Layla ready for these chitlins. Let me make sure my, uh, okay, I just wanted to make sure my lipstick wasn't going, going across my face before I turned my camera back around. All right, any questions or comments before I had to wipe my nose? I felt my lipstick kind of, you know how they go, ladies. Um, so any questions or comments before I get off? Yes, Gary. They are pig intestines. It does. A lot of work goes into this. Um, the hog moths, that's why some people would rather just do the hog moths because you could just, if they, if they sell them in your area, you could just get those and, you know, and really just clean them, and, um, which is, takes little to no work. Cut them up, you know, small and, and boil them just like you would do your, your pig. Um, what am I trying to say? Well, pig feet, piggers, whatever. It just takes time to, to boil them and stuff. Me too. Thank you, Carrie. So the whole point is I want to just show you all, and especially those, some people will never see these types of things. They may see it in the store, but they don't know what it is or, or things like that. So that's one of the reasons I like to show and do these types of things. It doesn't bother me if people are don't like it. I don't, that doesn't bother me. It's not going to stop me from eating them. <laughs> so uh, my health is my business, and I know how much I eat stuff, so that's, and we all do stuff we shouldn't do and eat stuff we shouldn't eat and put stuff in our body we shouldn't put in our body. So, you know, hey, this is just one other thing, you know, so we all, we all can actually, uh, you know, be in that boat. So that's why I don't trip off stuff. Like you may not eat that, but hey, drinking that beer every day don't help either. <laughs> <laughs> tell you that much or whatever you know so either way it go God is good I do too can, is it Kanitha so I'm going to work on this y'all so I can get these done Cause it's, what time is it it's after 1 it's 1.30 where I am so I'm going to get these done so I can um chill out i like to get up early on thanksgiving so i'll be getting up around like i said five or six and start cooking my dinner i like to do everything fresh everything fresh um i posted my menu ricardo i'm making a uh, smoked turkey i'm doing smoked turkey honey baked ham we're having of course the chitterlings with the hog mogs we are having i'm making uh baked macaroni and cheese i'm making uh the mixed greens i'm doing the um, the collard, the mustard, and the spinach. I am doing uh, the homemade giblet gravy. I'm doing dressing, of course. Homemade dressing. I'm doing, uh, oh God, what else are we having? Layla wants potato salad. I'm doing sweet potatoes. Uh, I'm doing, uh, I think that's it, Hawaiian rolls and I feel like I'm leaving something off. We're going to have some rice. I got to have rice with my chitlins. I can't make chitlins and not make rice. That's just like an abomination. I got, like this isn't, you know. <laughs> but no, seriously, I got to have rice with my chitlins. Like real talk. Lisa, I think you can buy chitlins pre-clean, but I personally would not and have not. I just don't trust it. I don't trust it. Um, I'm not having too much company over my mom. Um, the only company I have here, my mom is here. As some of you all saw her the other day, she's here. So she'll be eating with us. Um, my brother Brian, y'all know Brian because y'all hear me talk about him a lot. He's on here a lot. He may be coming tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet. And then it's just my kids and stuff and, and uh, you know, and, and people I'm not going to mention. So... <laughs> Praise the Lord. I am Latandra. Latranda. Darcel, I do um right this. <laughs> um, I do 
it depends with these I'm gonna do onion I'm, of course I'm gonna use my onions and everything but I'm gonna do more of onion and garlic I'm definitely gonna use my Greek all-purpose uh, I don't know what all I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some celery in there I got me some fresh celery and uh, I don't know everything I could tell you what I'm gonna do I'm the type of person I don't be knowing ahead of time how I'm gonna season some baby it, it, I'm the type of person when, whenever I get ready to cook something, I it's like however I feel at that moment, that's how I cook. So it's it's not usually a flavor I know ahead of time. So I just be like, okay, this is what I want. I can't explain it. But you know, when you cook, that's how you people that cook know. I mean, not that you don't cook, but y'all know what I'm saying. You just be so you just don't know until you start cooking. You mm. and then you just you just be led by. <laughs> by the spirit <laughs> that's really what it is you just be led by the spirit honey this is what I'm going to put in this today this is what it's going to be today that's why it's difficult for me like even with recipes because I can make a recipe but then share it with you but I may not make it that way the next time and I know I won't because I, I know how I am you know so then the next time I may want it like this the next time like that so that's why I'm always recommending and suggesting to you all that you make it, that you do different things, you know, cause, cause it ain't going to be the same every time with me. It's going to be good, but it ain't going to be the same every time. I'm telling you that right now. So, uh, that's just what it is. <laughs> I'm glad for those that got their cookbook. Um, the next cookbooks to go out, I'm going to have them print. I got to see when they're going to be done printing actually. This week is hard because people were, some people were just not working this week or, you know, people are taking their vacations and stuff and spending time with their family. But next week we'll be back, back in business as far as, you know, getting things done and, and getting those orders out to you all. So, um, but those who ordered and, and I told them by Thanksgiving, they would have their book. They have their book. There was one lady that reached out to me and tell, told me she didn't have her book, but it was the post office. It had nothing to do with me. So yeah it had nothing to do with me but i but i still took care of her she knows who she is and and know what i did so we just gonna leave it at that it ain't it ain't for you know for that reason so thank you miss renee hi Teresa. hi sharika uh, if you ordered a book before the deadline and you didn't get it, and it's not on me. It'll be on the post office. So make sure you look up your tracking number and find out why. And if you didn't get your tracking number, I can find it for you. Just email me and we will get that tracking number. Because I process every order. <laughs> I process every order um, that came in between October the 29th and November the 7th. I processed it myself. And they were all processed, done, mailed. So if you didn't uh, get your tracking number, I can look up the tracking number for you. Hi, Felicia. Latasha, I'll share once I do once I see them and stuff. I'll share with y'all what I did. I just don't know yet because I'm I'm cooking these tomorrow. I'm gonna get them cleaned up today, and then I'm gonna get up first thing in the morning and get those you know get everything going. Because I I can't like I said I can't do that. <laughs> I cannot cook my food the day before. I cannot. I just can't. So it's I just can't do that. Um, you have to do what you got to do, but I, it's nothing hindering me from getting up the day of, and I don't really do much on Thanksgiving, but cook, uh, sometimes I watch, you know, the game that comes on later that day, stuff like that. I'm just hanging with family or something. So other than that, I'm not doing anything that's keeping me from cooking. So I like to sit down and eat a fresh, <laughs> fresh meal. <laughs> The Black Friday discount for my cookbook. And you can get, actually, you can get the 20% off of anything. Uh, the PDF, you can get it on the uh, the inserts or the book. You get 20% off your purchase. Uh, the the uh, code is Thanksgiving. That's it, Thanksgiving. Donna, we don't really eat uh, desserts, so I'm probably see what they want. And I probably end up baking them a cake or something. I'm just not sure yet. I told you we not them type of type of people with all that desserts and stuff. So I did ask, but nobody gave me an answer. So I'm not gonna stress myself out no more than I have to when it comes to <laughs> getting everything cooked. So uh I'ma see what they want. Thank you, Roger Glass, for your uh your order. I got so many orders from me and you all. 
Y'all ladies better watch out. I don't know if they <laughs> what's going on, but I got a lot of orders. Like I've never had so many orders from men uh, since I've been selling my cookbooks. But it was literally, it was like literally neck and neck when it came to the men and the women. So I appreciate you guys stepping up and I don't know if you just get in the book because you want to know how to cook. Some there are a lot of single dads out there and stuff like that. Men trying to get married, they're trying to woo some of y'all. So I guess that's maybe that's what. Um, Asia, it takes a while to clean them because you just want to take your time and and really clean them. But some it really just depends on the batch of chitlins. But sometimes the chitlins are not all that dirty, you know, to where you have to do a whole lot. So you, it just really depends on the batch. But it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me a while. That's why I'm going to have to hop on off. It's going to take me a while. Because I'll be sitting here talking and stuff. And I want it to take me much longer. Hey, Shanika. That's true. The men could be buying them for Christmas gifts. But I know from my email inbox, I know there are men that be trying to find out how to cook certain stuff. And I'll be like, listen, I don't do recipes through the email. You know, I don't do recipes through the email. So I know I get a lot of questions about how to make this or and stuff like that. It's just that, no. That's why I write cookbooks. It just takes too much time if I answer those type of emails. So I just try to, you know, point them toward the cookbooks and that's normally what they do. All right, Danielle, thank you. So thank you for hopping on. If you have any questions that I missed, because I know I probably missed a lot of questions, maybe, because I, I wasn't able to look and clean. So if you had any questions for me, you can send it to my email, cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. What else, y'all? I'll post my dinner tomorrow so that you all can see it. I'll let you know what seasonings I used in the chitterlings and hog mogs tomorrow uh, when I post that. And I think that's about it. I pretty much took care of all my emails that, you know, for the most part, if you ordered your cookbook between October 29th and November 7th, you should already have your book. If you ordered during that time frame, not after November 7th, but during that time frame and you did not receive your book, please email me because we need I will help you find your book because you would have received the tracking number and I can look it up for you and we can track it and see where it is, okay? But they were mailed out in, in more than enough time for you to have them by, you know, before now. <laughs> so uh, I can't do nothing about the mail system, but I did put them in the mail with more than enough time. It takes two days. For these books to get to you in regular mail so if it took longer I, I can't do nothing about the post office but I will be willing to uh, do something to try to uh, accommodate you in some kind of way even though it's not my fault so God bless <laughs> alright y'all so I'm gonna hop off I'll post my stuff tomorrow and I think that's it y'all yeah have an amazing Thanksgiving an amazing Thanksgiving <laughs> amazing thank you for your time i love you thank you for your support your continued support and um just just know even if you're not doing a big meal thanksgiving is not about what's on your table thanksgiving is in your heart okay you got to know that it's not about a turkey it's not about a ham it's not about the chitterlings it's not about well, whatever you eat you know, so don't, I hate that we kind of, in our society, make it seem like you got to have a turkey on Thanksgiving, but you don't. You can eat whatever you want on Thanksgiving. Some years we do seafoods, and I don't feel no type of way about it. <laughs> some years I do it sometimes. One year I ain't even cook nothing. You know, I mean, we cook. We had some dinner, but it's not, it, it ain't got to be nothing, you know, big and extravagant. So as long as you have a thankful heart, you woke up. Tomorrow we wake up, we thankful. You got your family, thankful. Even if you by yourself, be thankful that you got yourself. You got your your mind, your mind, your you're in your right mind. Some people out they mind. Okay. I used to work in a, a home where people had dementia and Alzheimer's and all that. So you could be out your mind. So find something to be thankful for, and that's all it's about. And if you get a meal, praise God. You know, that's even better, but that's extra. Okay? It's not about the food. It's not about the food. It's not. And and we really got to get that. Just like Christmas is not about the gifts. Okay? 
It's not. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ, the birth of our Savior. And no, we don't know when his birthday was. I can't stand when people be talking about that. He wasn't born on that day. Don't nobody care. The point is, we celebrating it at this time that Jesus came to earth <laughs> so that we could be saved. Why, why argue about everything? That's why I say to myself, y'all be blessed. I love y'all and I'll see y'all real, real soon. <laughs>